Let's create a simple hardware semaphore's example. Hardware semaphore example description. We can reuse a previous example from dual core uh, debugging. These uh, were three buttons and three LEDs, uh, but we can create as well the completely new empty example for STM32WL55 devices. Uh, the important uh, components uh, within this example would be USART2. Uh, which is connected to uh, ST-Link uh, and it's visible as a virtual com port and hardware semaphore what would be mm, the protector of this USART2 and it would allow both cores uh, to use this uh, peripheral um, to display simple messages. USART2 would be configured within Cortex-M4 core and additionally in main while one loop uh, for both cores, we will perform some simple uh, data sent over this uh, communication interface. Uh, as already mentioned, uh, user tool will be protected by selected hardware semaphore, and this hardware semaphore will be selected as well to generate interrupts uh, in case it will be released. In this case, uh, both cores will have a uh, unique access uh, to this uh, USART2 communication interface and uh, we will avoid the collision between those two. To create a project we may use uh, stm 32 cubemix and then generate the code to the selected toolchain or we can use stm 32 cube IDE. Uh, in my case uh, I would use uh, the second option. Within this project, I will use STM32Cube IDE with STM32WL Cube library. As you can see, I have already opened uh, my working uh, workspace. I'm creating a new project, so I'll go to File, New, STM32 Project. It should initialize shortly the target selector. Our microcontroller, it is STM32WL55JC. Uh, it's enough just to put some part of the name. So this is our micro. As we can see, there is a Nucleo, in fact, two Nucleo boards equipped with this microcontroller and I just press next. In this part, it is important to check whether this enable multi CPUs configuration is used uh, because it is activating both cores and creating, in fact, two projects, so one for Cortex-M4 and the second one for Cortex-M0+. I would name the project uh, Hardware Semaphore, so HCM, and I press Finish. We can see on the left side that the uh, project is already created uh, for Cortex-M0 Plus and for Cortex-M4. Okay, uh, we are starting uh, with an stm 32 cubemix perspective, which allows us to select the peripherals and uh, initially configure them to create the basic skeleton of both applications. What we would need uh, within this exercise uh, it would be uh, USART2, uh, which is connected to ST-Link and visible via virtual COM port on our PC, and we will use a hardware semaphore to communicate between both cores. Uh, so the first thing is uh, to select USART2, it is within connectivity. We can select this show context just to see what has been selected for which core. And USART2 is over here, we will select it for both cores. Uh, we can just double click on it instead of using this part. It is selected for, bo for both cores, but it will be initialized for within Cortex-M4 as this is the main core which is always starting as the first one after the reset. Within mode we will select asynchronous and will keep the default configuration of USART2 proposed by the tool. So the baud rate 115,000 bits per second, 8, bit, uh, 8 bits uh, word length, uh, no parity and one stop bit, no interrupts, no DMAs, just the simplest possible configuration. Then uh, we need to um, select the hardware semaphore, it is within system and core, and uh, this is HSEM, we would select it for both cores and we will activate it. 
Uh, see, we can see this does require any uh, parameter settings. All coding related to hardware semaphore will be done directly um, after code generation. Automatically, the interrupt is enabled for both cores uh, for hardware semaphore. The last point I would like to do within this uh, part is to just enable the debug interface. Uh, we will select serial wire, two wires, so PA13 and PA14. After this, uh, I will just verify the clock configuration where you are using the default clock settings coming from MSI uh, and it's uh, set to 4 MHz for both cores. After this, we can generate the project. We will use the hardware abstraction layer for all of the modules for both cores. Uh, we will not change anything here and uh, I will just press this icon device configuration tool to generate the project for Cortex-M0 Plus and project for Cortex-M4. OK, uh, I can see that uh, I have two main.c files opened. As you can see, if I toggle between them, uh, the proper project is highlighted. So at the moment, I'm within uh, main.c file from Cortex-M4. And uh, the second one is uh, for Cortex M0 Plus. Thank you for watching this video.